Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we are shooting Winchester's Copper Impact 150 grain bullet out of the 350 Legend. And here's your box for that Winchester Copper Impact 350 Legend load. That is some cool looking artwork right there. Very fancy looking box at the very least. Here is quite a bit of factory promo information. You can pause and read all that if you would like to. Here is your velocity and energy information. Let's go ahead. Oh, oh, there we go. It actually gives you a barrel length. That is rare these days. Now, we will be shooting this from a 16-inch barreled Ruger American Ranch, so I don't expect to see velocities quite that high, but we will see what it does. Take a look at the ammo. Give you a cool little promo sticker. And here we go. Yank one out. There it is. He's got a just massive ballistic tip on there. And this is a solid copper bullet, so I do expect it to hold together pretty well, even though it does have a massive ballistic tip. It'll be cool to see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 350 Legend, of course. It's got a 16-inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20-round magazine cuffs. You pop that open, you got a 20-round magazine close at hand right there. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch into the perfect truck gun, camp gun, anything you could need it for. Coming around to the other side, I've got my whitetail deer design on this one. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester 150 grain copper impact bullet out of the 350 Legend, and we've got some interesting happenings. So I managed to catch two bullets, and we got one back here at 28 inches of penetration, and then this one almost came out the top of the block, but it caught it at, we'll call it 21 inches of penetration. And what I want to note is that this one right here did expand pretty good, it looks like. Of course, we'll dig this out here in a minute and look at it. This one right here appears to have not expanded at all. And then the third bullet, here's the wound track. So first of all, here's the wound tracks. It looks like we got some expansion here. We got some expansion on that bullet. By the way, I fired four and I only captured two because I was trying to capture another one for y'all to look at, but we only got two. But here's another one we didn't capture. So here's the wound track. Looks like it didn't expand at all and see if I can angle it. So there's a expanded wound track behind it. This one keeps going and shows little to no expansion all the way through. And it's hard to tell because there's another track behind it. And then it zips out of the block right about here and then flies off somewhere. So it looks like this bullet also did not expand very much, if at all. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Winchester Copper Impact 150 grain load out of the 350 Legend. Our high was 2182, our low was 2136, and our average was 2165. And here we are looking at those Winchester Copper Impact 150 grain bullets recovered from the ballistics gel. And of course it only got two, we did not recover the third bullet, so we're going to work with what we got. First, we're going to talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 149 and 148 grains for an average of 149 grains rounded up of retained weight. That is 99% weight retention. No surprises there, being that these are solid copper bullets. 
And now we'll talk about expansion. And as you can see, we did not get expansion on one of the bullets. So we saw 0.35 inches, essentially caliber diameter, and then 0.71 inches on the one bullet that did expand. And averaging those two works out to 0.53 inches. Now that's a little bit of a misnomer because one bullet, just plain Jane, didn't expand. If we'd fired 100 bullets, would we see a 50-50 expansion to not expansion ratio on bullets? Who knows? I'm not going to do that. But we're going to use what we got, and this is what we got. That works out to 1.5x expansion on average, being that one of them did not expand. But keep in mind, the one that did expand did pretty darn good. But it doesn't really bode well when one of the bullets doesn't expand at all. That's, that's pretty bad. And now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2182, our low was 2136, and our average was 2165 versus the build velocity of 2260. So we did come in just a little bit slow, 95 feet per second slow on average. I've seen a lot worse than that. And then on to penetration, we saw 21 inches and 28 inches respectively, and we didn't recover the third bullet. That works out to 25 inches on average of penetration. All right, y'all, time for final thoughts on that Winchester Copper Impact 150 grain 350 Legend load. Weight retention wise, it's a solid copper bullet. We're going to see nearly, if not 100% weight retention, and that is exactly what we got with 99% weight retention. Expansion is what I want to harp on with this particular load a little bit. We had one bullet that did not expand at all. It went in the gel, it hit, and it did nothing. It just stayed closed up. That's not good. That's sort of a sign of poor manufacturing or quality control. I don't know. Most loads don't do that. With most loads, you get at least some expansion. With this, it's supposed to expand, and it just plain didn't. One did, one didn't. That's not a good sign. So as far as expansion goes, I don't know that I can trust this particular ammo. Now, if I were to fire, you know, three more shots, what would I see? I don't know. These are the ones that I fired, and it would sure suck if that round was the one that was in the chamber when I'm zeroed, on, you know, zeroed in on a buck, and I pull the trigger, and that's the bullet that goes down range and doesn't expand. So that's why I'm not going to shoot more rounds. It failed. And then on to velocity, it came in a little bit slow, 95 feet per second slow on average. Sort of par for the course with pretty much every factory load out there in every caliber. But as you will see, I've tested quite a few 350 Legend loads. This is the first video that's going up for 350 Legend. But it's not uncommon to see 350 Legend loads exceed factory velocity. I got several that did. This one didn't. It is what it is. And then penetration-wise, penetration was good. 21 inches, 28 inches for the two bullets that were recovered. But again, I just can't get over the fact that one bullet completely failed to expand. And then we'll talk about kinetic energy real quick. I'm rolling this into every video going forward. So the kinetic energy with this particular load, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,165 feet per second, that's what we actually measured, that works out to 1,561 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. And that's sort of par for the course right in there with a whole bunch of other 350 Legend loads. You'll see those in videos coming up. The average range is about, a, is about 1,500 to 1,700 foot-pounds and their ends. Now that is a little bit big of a range, but that's really what most of them fall into. There's one that actually goes below that, and it's a it's a legit, you know, medium game deer hunting load, but it actually comes in under 1,500 foot-pounds, and there's a couple that come in quite a bit over 1,700, so look forward for those videos. But this one was at 1,561. It's sort of in the ballpark of a lot of other ones. So all in all, I'm really not very impressed with this Winchester Copper Impact 350 Legend load. Again, the expansion just kills me. I can't deal with a bullet that just completely fails like that, whether it blows completely apart. That's a failure if it's not meant to, by the way, or if it just doesn't expand at all and it's supposed to. That's a failure. So for me, I'm, I'm not too impressed with this stuff. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work, and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. 
And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.